Smart team, bitch, it's RDM. Real life, it's my family, I cannot pretend. I swear you could feel the difference when they genuine. Calling you bro right before they try to do you in. I gotta ride around with it, oh God, wouldn't want it at the top Yo. if I couldn't bring my team. No, RDM with your tie. You know, you know the vibe. They get split, roll out with my lighter. Bad girl, I'm on me like. Come, baby, talk to me nice. Ooh, la, 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 la. What's up? What's good? You can barely see my white ass because my computer screen is bright as fuck when it comes to white objects. Me. I'm only half, but it's all good. But we back with uh, Daquan Wiltshire's Dragon Ball Super Episode 127 review. Uh, this is kind of the final countdown. We only got like four episodes to go, if I'm correct. Luckily, this is a long, somewhat long episode, so without further ado, let's get into it, my boys, and and females, if any females watches. Can't believe Android 17 is gone, man. Salute. Man. Salute. He went out just like Cleo and set it off. Dang. Damn. He about made me start crying. I ain't, I ain't like set it off like that, but I ain't gonna hold you that. Damn, I'm about to start crying. I'm about to be on some damn. R.I.P. Cleo. Goddamn. I wish they would have took my baby mom instead. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into <laughs> Out this of pocket. Video. Episode 127. We are officially four episodes away from the end of right. the tournament of power. And Jaren finally shows his true power. All right, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I like this episode and all, but like... What's good? What was the big difference in him fighting before and him showing his true power now? Because he's been fucking everybody up. This no shit clue. don't make no type of sense. This... That's some real shit, though. That's why you can't make a villain too OP. Because then when they power up to their full strength, it's like... Were they not fighting at their full strength? Like, I, that's my only problem with Jiren. They made him too fucking OP. They made him too OP. Lucky it's 2 a.m. I would have been fucking screaming right now on how OP Jiren is. Or was. R.I.P. to Jiren. Spoiler. This nigga ain't get touched the entire tournament of power. And when he finally decides to show his true power, he gets damaged? You mean to tell me? The same nigga who took on a spirit bomb and a final flash dead on gets damaged by Android 17. Look, man, I ain't trying to take anything away from 17. R.I.P. to a real nigga. But at the end Salute. of the day, you know damn well he ain't fucking with a Super Saiyan Blue K.O. Ken times 20. And Vegeta's new form, whatever the fuck that is. Have they come up with a name for Vegeta's new form? Because I am dead ass tired of calling it Vegeta's new form. Like, I'm about to call it my fucking... Super Saiyan Glitter Sparkles or something. Nigga, what the fuck? Dog, has Geekdom 101 ever answered that question? Because that nigga be knowing everything, bro. And if any... Did he ever... Did he? I don't know. I ain't never... My, I ain't never really paid no mind. I was just like, maybe that's just like a part-time thing. He powered up to a certain extent. Kind of how, like, Goku took his spirit bomb. To get, that kind of gave him, like, Ultra Instinct somewhat. I, I, but Vegeta didn't really take a hit like that, from what I can remember off the top. <sighs> you know what the, you know what uh, Akira Toriyama said when he was writing this, talking about the fans. Fuck him. Anybody knows what that nigga look like? Send me a picture, cause I know that nigga got a little weird as shit, cause he ain't never showed his face in not one of his videos. Oh, the unrelated gaming nigga surprised me, because I honestly thought that nigga was gonna be some little scrawny ass white kid that looked like motherfucking Gus from Recess. But that Damn. nigga, the nigga got like long hair and shit. Nigga look like motherfucking Tommy from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But anyways, enough about them niggas. Let's go ahead and get into the episode. So that that's why you can't. That's that's why you can't judge people somewhat, cause you never know what they look like. If I never would have showed myself. Y'all probably would have thought I was racist because how I be saying nigga. I'm not racist. But I, like I said, whoever sees it, I'm not racist. I'm not explaining myself no more. I'm half Puerto Rican, half white. I live in the hood. If you feel like you could come confront me about me saying nigga, I'm saying it with an A. I'm, I, I, I never say it with a hard ER. 
There was that one time I said it though in front of my black, well not in front of him, but we was playing Fortnite and I was talking to my white friend and I called him a nigga. I said that with the A, calm down. But it accidentally, instead of me saying nigga, it accidentally slipped and I accidentally said that and then my friend was pretty cool about it though, so I mean, but let's get back to the video. They, they he pretty much laughed it off because I ain't think I said it, but then I'm, I'm gonna just take his word for it. Ta, I know you don't watch my shit. You my nigga. You know that. But the episode starts off with Jiren powering up and releasing his key. And the thing that I don't get about this part is this. How the fuck were people getting blown away when he released a little bit of his key towards the beginning of the Tournament of Power, but now when he releases his full power, people are just standing there like this. There's a lot of things that they're doing now that ain't making no type of sense. What did I say? Akira Toriyama said, fuck us. He, he said, fuck us. He gave us the biggest middle finger. Just because they're trying to rush this shit. And that Krillin over there talking about the force of his energy is reaching all the way over here. Nigga, it did the first time. Hey. Fuck you talking about you bitch ass nigga. Stay in a bitch ass nigga place. Then Master Roshi fuck gonna Krillin. say, can Goku and the others actually fight against that? Nigga, what the fuck do you think they're doing? Fighting nigga, against I can it. see if you said, can they win? But nigga, you go, but you, what you want them to stop? So you can get erased? Fact. Nah, then shut the fuck up. Fuck you, man. Nigga, you old as shit. Nigga, you about old as hit. Fuck you talking about. You ain't got that much longer left anyway. Shut shit. the fuck up. And then direct. Roshi gonna stay alive as long as there's titties for him to look at. Quickly after that, this nigga Vegeta gonna get him talking shit. Like, bruh, you ain't been able to lay a hand on this nigga Jiren yet. That's Vegeta, though. You got a whole new form and hit him with your strongest attack and ain't damage him not one bit. That's Vegeta, though. You watch Ultra Instinct Goku lose to the nigga. That's Vegeta, though. He done fucked up everybody on the stage and you think that he made a mistake. By waiting to show y'all his true power. That's Not Vegeta, even clearly, though. nigga. You clearly got this nigga fucked up. Topo might have made the mistake by waiting to show his god of destruction power until Facts. after you got your transformation because he probably could have even gotten you out the ring beforehand. Facts. But Jiren, on the other hand? So, anyways, after that, Goku, Vegeta, and Android 17 attack That's Jiren fact, simultaneously. Bro. And none of their attacks are working. Like, this nigga Jiren is dogging these niggas, bro. He on his low luck shit. He like, I ain't power for no reason. you gonna get this work, nigga. So, That's Vegeta facts. goes in to attack Jiren. And when he goes for the attack, Jiren. Bro, I really wish Broly's universe. Wait, is is Broly not Universe Seven? He was on Planet Vegeta. Where the fuck is Broly from? Just straight grabs his punch and was like, "That was a height." For a bitch ass nigga like Topo, what the fuck you think that was gonna do to me, nigga? And right after that, he stole this nigga Vegeta so hard he knocked him back into his base form. Then after that, Goku comes over there and tries to help out and tries to hit Jiren with a Command Maya. But no Jiren more. pulled some Highlander, He Man, motherfucking Lion O from the Thundercat type shit. This nigga was like Thunder, Thunder, Thundercat. I punched straight through the motherfucking Command Maya. So Jiren starts walking over there towards Goku because he's about to fuck him up again. And then Seventeen comes behind him and pulls like the most suspect shit, like bruh. Man to man, you don't ever come up behind another man and say, Facts. I got something special for you. Facts. But anyways, he blasted the sh On some real shit, I ain't got nothing against gay people, but that's some gay shit. You do that shit to me, you getting fucking shot. Shit out this nigga Jaren. Now what blew me no is how the Supreme Kai gonna say Jaren's wounded. Like nigga. The nigga got like a couple scratches on his back. The nigga ain't wounded, bro. He turned right around and looked at him like, yo, you bitch ass, nigga, why the fuck you attack me, nigga? So after they saw the 17's attack worked on Jiren, Goku thought that they should all try the same thing. And uh, you clearly see how that turned out. Nigga, what the fuck made you Facts. think that was going to work again? But anyways, Facts. Jiren ended up knocking everybody out after that. And then Goku going to have a nerve to say, how could he beat our coordinated attack? Nigga, ain't been fucking y'all up since the beginning Facts. of this fight. What made you think anything is going to be different? And then after that, here comes this bitch ass nigga Frieza. So this nigga comes back, and I don't know what made him think. Like, my Nigga, you got your ass fuck whooped by this nigga Topo. What the fuck would make you think you can even stand toe to toe with Jiren? When I tell y'all that Jiren made That's light facts. work of this nigga, I mean, bruh, he literally knocked the gold off this nigga in one hit. I'm surprised he ain't knocked the halo off this nigga, bruh. But then after that, man, man, fuck this nigga Jiren, bruh. Man, 17 is a real ass nigga, dog. This nigga went over Salute. there and gonna try to fight Jiren knowing damn well he can't beat him. And Jiren, bitch ass, gonna say, what can you do alone? Nigga, I can do your grandmother, nigga. Fuck you mean, bruh. Yo, real shit though, 17 was a real ass one. In Super, at least. I ain't fuck with him in Dragon Ball Z. In Super, though, he got my respect. Now, this was a part of the episode where we got into Jaren's backstory. And the reason why I didn't necessarily like it is because you can really tell how rushed it was, man. Thank you. Like, 
They didn't even put a face on the villain that beat Jaren. And that beat Jaren's master. Wouldn't we want to know that? We want to know the person who... We want to at least see Jaren's parents. We didn't see his parents. We didn't see his master. We didn't see any of his companions. Fuck we it. didn't see any of the students he trained with. Bro, shit, like, they rushed this whole fucking story, man. They gave this fat-ass bitch, Ruben, so many goddamn episodes of annoying us. Facts. But yet, you couldn't give a full backstory on fucking Jaren? Facts. You saw all that spit? And how dry was the goddamn story? Oh, some villain came Bro, and shit. killed Jaren's parents. Then a nigga came back and killed Jordan's master. Like, really, nigga? Why you keep all the Jordan? And then he gonna come. Yo, that's so. That is some lazy shit, though. He like Jaren come out and know, like Jaren, the strongest dude ever. All right, some dude, some random dude kills his parents. Jaren fucking lives his life peacefully. Gets his like get a master. Starts like training and shit. <laughs> the fucking same dude just comes out of nowhere. Like, hey, remember I killed your parents? I'm gonna kill your master too. Like, bro, they fucking rushed that. They hold us. I'm back and just keep fucking them up. Like, really? Now, this part was funny, because when Belmont was done telling Jaren's story, then, like, Jaren basically told him to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, right after that. He was basically like, shut the fuck up, nigga. How the fuck do you even know anything about me? What you work for? Child support enforcement? If you don't stop bro, telling me about shit. my goddamn business. And after that, Jaren was about to end it, bro. He was about to knock everybody off. Until? Until my nigga 17 sacrificed himself. Next. Dog 17 knew he couldn't beat Jaren. So he figured that if he could save Goku and Vegeta, then at least the universe stands a chance of surviving. When I tell y'all, man, this probably was like the most emotional moment for me, Facts. dog. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, I'm never going to cry like that again until, like, count it. Come on. 15 more years, man. So now, Damn. it's up to Goku That's tough. and Vegeta, who are both in their base form and are fucking seriously injured because of Jiren's attack. Cause you're in a real one. Go ahead and save the universe. And y'all already know the thing is, man, they're setting this shit up exactly like the Majin Buu saga, bro. Bro, shit. Vegeta is gonna fight Jiren until he wears himself out so Goku can save up energy. And then Goku comes and saves the fucking day. Yeah. Like, I don't mind Goku always being a hero and all, but like. Give Vegeta it's some just time. typical Dragon Ball Z shit. Bro, I enjoyed that. That was a long episode. I did kind of get off track. But we're down to the final four of episodes. Or this is the part of the final four, actually. I'm out. I will see y'all tomorrow, possibly. Everybody stay safe. I'm out.